The rule of law is the foundation for everything. Margaret Thatcher called it the first duty of government, and she was right about that. The National Union of Mine Workers rallied some 6,000 picketers to this corner of Yorkshire, intending to blockade the coking plant and perhaps force its temporary closure. In response, the police sent somewhere between four and 8,000 officers, 50 mounted police and 58 police dogs. The events of that afternoon were violent and ferocious and long disputed. The horses are the most feared weapon in the police armoury on the picket line, and they're very effective. In its aftermath, 95 picketers were charged, although of the trials that were brought, all collapsed, and South Yorkshire Police later awarded £425,000 in compensation to 39 pickets. It reminded me of rocks drift with all them Zulus, and I'm looking at them bobbies all dressed in black. Couldn't believe it. By the, they were ready for us. Now there are no mines, and the local miners' club sits empty. These days, no one can afford to drink anywhere but home. Orgreave ceased operation in 2005, its shallow seams having run dry after the harvesting of five million tonnes of coal. Today it is a brownfield site. They are draining the land, making way for three and a half thousand new homes, for offices and leisure lakes. Subduing the earth, smoothing it down, willing it to forget all that it saw. Margaret Thatcher called it the first duty of government, and she was right about that. April the 4th, 1984. Stormer's carrying it forward. He's returning the Labour Party to a, a party that's reliably obedient to power. It's very important to continue the elite program pretty much across the spectrum to destroy Corbyn and everything that he stood for. The, uh, it's intolerable to elite British opinion that there should be a Labour Party that actually responds to its constituents, a Labour Party that is concerned with the interests of working people and works for their benefit, that pursues the policies that won a big Labour majority in 2017, terrifying the establishment. So that has to be killed. It was killed with lots of fakery about anti-Semitism, deplorable attacks, others, uh, and Keith Stormer is carrying it forward. He's returning the Labour Party to a, a party that's reliably obedient to power, that will be uh, Thatcher light in the style of Tony Blair, and uh, won't ruffle feathers of either the United States or anyone who's important in Britain. Greetings. April the 4th, 1984.